All right. Okay, while we're at it and we have this uh, test sim node here, let's try to add a train here. As I told in last chapter, you can connect a train here. And let's just see what that does. So I'm going to drop down a grid. I'm going to drag up the resolution a little bit. I'm going to have a mountain sop. And I'm going to have the element size up a bit. Something like that. And I'm going to merge these. Something like that. Here we go. And we can see... Oh, we also need to connect this here. Okay, so here we have... He's still hovering though. So it doesn't seem to do much. But if you go into this test sim crow transition and to the second tab here, you have enable train projection. So let's click that. And you can see he moves down to the ground. And let's play it and see what happens. So he walks. You can see that some kind of terrain projection is happening. But the feet are going through the ground. And sometimes they are above it. And yeah, it doesn't look great. And what's happening now is that it's using this point here. So we have the eight in point position. And that is terrain projected on the ground. And this is obviously not an optimal solution. What you rather want to have is to have the feet terrain project. And of course you can do that in Houdini. So built in into the crowd system, you have a very easy way to create IK chains for the legs. And uh, yeah, you'll see it's very easy to set up. So I'm going to go above the agent definition cache here. Uh, and I'm going to bypass it as well. Just because I want to see the result immediately. And then I'm going to drop down an agent prep. Something like I carry that. And now you see we have upper limbs, torso, and lower limbs. So what you need to do is that you need to know for each leg you have, you need to have a lower limb. And uh, so if you have a spider, you would have eight lower limbs. In this case, we just have two. These are the most important ones because these are the IK chains. The torso can also be useful. The torso procedurally lean the agents backwards and forwards uh, when they are walking on an incline. And that can make your crowd look a little bit better. Yeah, and the upper limbs you don't really need to care about. So let's see for the lower limbs. Let's start by creating a leg. And by default, you can see it's filled in already. And it's actually filled in with the name of the left leg of the mock-up Piper 3. So you can see that. Get these small crosses to show that the leg is set up. It's very easy. So you have the upper leg, which would be this one. And then you select the knee, which would be this one. Then you need to have the ankle. That would be this joint here. And then you have the toe, which would be this joint here. You can select them in different way. You can click here and just select them in the hierarchy. Or you can just select them here. Uh, or you, you can just type them in. It's pretty straightforward. One thing you need to do is to set up the offsets down here. And what are they about? They tell you what the actual ground contact is supposed to be. So if I turn on the geometry. And if we look at the ankle. So if we would recast the ankle straight to the ground, then it would look really weird. This part would be moved down under and you would have like the heel going through the ground. So you, the actual contact is here. And so therefore you want to use the ankle offset to position the offset down here. So you can do that by just selecting them in the viewport, which is the easiest way. I always have to type in the numbers here. But the easiest way is just to move it like this. And then for the toes, the toes are actually up here. And then we need to move them down a little bit. So now we have it set up correctly. And I could just create the next lower limb. Much easier thing to do is just to select the Mocha Piper 3 preset. So I'm going to select that one here. And now you can see it's set up for us already. It also sets up the upper limbs and the torso. And here you can see the offsets that side effect things you should have. And this is useful if you have your own rig and you just want to have a blueprint. Then you can just look at the Mocap Piper 3 and see how side effects have set stuff up. Right. Okay. So let's see what this gives us. As I bypass this, so now it's just going to go straight through. I'm going to go down here and let's play it. And we can see he starts walking. And now the feet are above the ground. Excellent. 